thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, or well, this weekend, we're at uh, Mount Fox, which is just west of Ingham, up in North Queensland. Beautiful up here, a bit cold last night though. Um, but today is going to be our first cooking clip. And I don't know about you, but when I go camping, brekkie's pretty important to me, because I'm a bit dusty, with a bit of a dry mouth from the sherbets from the night before. And it's a good opportunity to cook on the fire. And you don't get much of a chance to do that at home. So it's always different to try and do stuff and it's a bit more rewarding, it tastes a bit different. So today we're going to do a frittata in the camp oven. But before we do that, I've got to chuck this camp oven on to preheat, just like you would for any conventional oven at home. So let's do that. You don't need many coals for the starter, it's just to heat it up about 10-15 minutes while we're cooking up the ingredients. And it's important that you have your, your camp oven for any cooking uh, preheated because you don't want to put in cold stuff into a cold camp oven that slows down your cooking time. So we'll head up and we'll do the ingredients. So for my frittata, I suppose I cook it in three phases. And the first ones you want to put in is all your heavy and your hard ingredients. Today we're going to do a bit of sweet potato, some capsicum, mushrooms, mushrooms, <laughs> bacon, and some onion. We'll put that in first, um, and I'll explain why when we get down and then we'll start cooking it up. But I'll start cutting it up. It's important when you cut it up, especially the sweet potato, it's really hard. Don't cut it too big. You want it small so it reduces and cooks in time in the same um, uh, level as, as your bacon and everything like that. Alright guys, so we've cut up all our ingredients and you can see that this has got some nice heat in it. The boil. We'll chuck in the sweet potato first because that'll need some time to reduce. I love garlic. Good dollop of garlic, mate. Good dollop. Well, I haven't put any extra coals on yet. Don't need to for this first phase. Put some salt and pepper in. See that's starting to simmer away right now. Can you see that step? Yep. <laughs> we'll chuck in the bacon. I suppose we don't want to put any more coals on right now because we don't want to burn it and burn it to the pan. One of the other reasons I chuck this in first is your potato, your mushrooms, your bacon. It holds a lot of a lot of water. And I hate putting this ingredient in and then having all that water in and then trying to put, put your egg in. So it's time for this to reduce down and, and, and three quarter cook. And to get rid of all that fluid before you start prepare, uh, preparing and building your frittata. Yeah, that's something that smells really good. We'll just chuck all this in. I've only got a small uh, camp oven, this one. There's only four of us out here. This is a two quart size. I've got a four and a half, but I think it'll be too big just for four of us. So we'll chuck that in, that looks good. Awesome mushies. Need mushies. All right, we'll let that do its thing. I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. 
we can start preparing what our next phase is. And this is a good opportunity for this to reduce down, soften up, get rid of all that fluid, all that water out of the potato and mushrooms. Um, I might chuck a little bit of coal just on top, not too much. And usually when you're cooking with camp oven, it's usually the ratio of 80 to 20. But this, we just want a tad on there. That's heaps. There's some good, good heat in that. We'll let that just simmer away, reduce down for the next 15 minutes, I reckon. All right, guys, that's been simmering away for about five minutes. So we want to start our phase two. There's four of us today. Uh, I don't know what ratio you'd have for how many people to how many eggs, but there's four of us. And with that size two quart camp oven, I'm gonna probably try for six, six eggs. I also wanna mix in black olives, and I've got a little uh, bird's eye out of the garden today, or yesterday. So I'm gonna chuck in a little bit of heat as well. One, two. I always make a mess when I go camping and cooking. This side goes off. Don't you like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three. Four. We'll try for six. We'll try for six. Ah, uh, need a bit of milk. Milk's in the fridge. Hey, off topic. I bought this a couple of months ago. We've taken it out camping a few times. Uh, mate, I'll rate it. 70 litre. Kings. Two compartments, a, fr a fridge and a freezer. Um, runs really well. If anyone wants any questions or, or a review or something on it, put a message in. Um, and I've explained in another clip on how I run the fridge and how I have the, the D22 set up. Um, but yeah, if you want any more info or any uh, any questions about the Kings, chuck it in the uh, in the message. Just a good squirt of milk. Not too much. That's a cracker. Chuck this bird's eye in. <laughs> oh no, he's dead. This bird's eye's got some real heat, so that'll be actually nice in there. And black olives for a bit of colour, a bit of taste. I love olives. People don't like olives. Don't put it in, it's no dramas. You can put heaps of things in in the egg just to help with the mix. That's ready. We'll give that another 10 minutes or so, I reckon. And we'll come back. Hey guys, it's been 20 minutes. We were talking too much. But you can really smell it now. You can smell the onion and the garlic your bacon, everything's starting to combine. You see what I mean how there's water in it? We want to get rid of that before we start putting in the egg. There's not much, it's all been reduced and gone. But you want to have these initial phase one ingredients in to work out and get rid of all that bloody water. Anyway, that's nice and soft. That's good. Six eggs, I reckon, will be probably enough. Now, the eggs are binding agent to phase one ingredients. So it's important that you just give them a bit of a Bit of a shake, shake and bake. Just to make sure that all that egg gets down to the bottom and, and, and binds with your with your phase one ingredient, I suppose if you nailed it. Uh, so we'll put a little bit more heat on that. You can still feel there's there's some good heat in that. So we don't wanna we don't wanna burn it. We wanna bake it. 
a little bit more heat. And then I reckon, I don't know, I reckon another 20 minutes, I reckon. And then we'll come back and we'll check it. But I'll just put a little bit more underneath because we haven't put any since we, uh, this one. Not too much. And like I said before, it's not a, uh, a 20-80 ratio. Like when you're roasting a lamb or something in a camp oven. I only just put a tad on top. And these camp ovens hold some really good heat, so you don't need too much on it. Not too much on it. Anyway, we'll time that and we'll come back and I reckon I might check it in 15. So there's some real good heat in that. Hey guys, we're back. That's been about 15 minutes, I reckon. And that's starting to look pretty good. You can see it's cooking and setting. So phase three is just, just cheese. Everyone loves cheese. Now the whole cooking process is nearly done, so this won't take long just to melt the cheese in, give it some more flavour. That's probably enough. And, can you see me? <laughs> Smoky. And some herbs. We'll give it a good splash. Jesus. <laughs> And give it, some, give it, <laughs> give it a good splash of herbs. Can you see me? <laughs> we'll chuck that on. I reckon for another five minutes. Hey, how you doing? Another five minutes, and I won't put any more heat on top of that because that's still holding some good heat. It's a good camp oven. So we'll give it another five. Back. That's been another five, ten minutes, I reckon. That's pretty good. I reckon we'll get that off. We'll let it cool down. Get a feta cheese and chives and I reckon we've got a good feed. Love feta cheese. Love it. And then I reckon we'll just let that, that rest. Maybe way too hot to eat anyway. We'll just let that rest. That's gonna be good. Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. Robbo here. Today we're going to do... 